The bus wasn't hit by the artillery or MLRS guard of people's self-defense. According to the facts, Ukrainian military activated the mines they'd planted in advance. We can see on pictures lots of warning mines plaques around. Then they opened fire and only later they realized what they'd done. Although one cannot rule out the possibility that the incident with the bus is a pre-planned provocation like MH17 and the mines weren't activated by accident. Why did they do that? Maybe the bus didn't slow down at the Ukrainian checkpoint. There are four types of directional fragmentation mines, MON, are using. MON50, MON90, MON100, MON200. We won't consider MON100 and 200 due to the specifics of their application. In this case, we are more interested in MON50 and 90. MON50. Effective range up to 58 meters. Horizontal pellet spread sector 54 degrees. Maximum effective kill zone width 54 meter. Maximum effective kill zone height 4 meters. MON 90. Effective range up to 90 meter. Horizontal pellet spread sector 120 degrees. Maximum effective kill zone width 60 meter. Maximum effective kill zone height 7 meters. The shrapnel used for filling these mines is either chopped up steel rods, roller bearings shaped or steel bolts. Roller bearings were used in mines more often due to their greater destructive action. Another evidence in favor of the use of roller bearing fragments hypothesis is the different sides of fragments entrance holes on the side of the bus. The mine was detonated either remotely or by means of pulling a trip wire. Now speaking of the bus, there are two possibilities. First, one MON-90 was planted and it was detonated either remotely or the bus pulled the trip wire. Second, three MON-50 were planted in a classical scheme employed by reconnaissance and sabotage units. So we have only one question. Why are Ukrainian and Western media lying?